But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's <laughs> underworld buzzes, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. I will throw some of these ruins on this thing. Okay, um... I guess we're gonna go fight. Do whatever this is. Hmm? I'm here about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. Ah, shit. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales.
right. <laughs> now we're charging it. Okay. Bodies buried. Word to burn. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. Okay, fella. So, uh, hello, whoever's in here, probably my nubby, but, uh, this is gonna be a quick stream. A couple hours, and then I gotta hit the road. I just showered, cleaned the bathroom, uh, and decided, fuck it, man, I don't need to leave now. I don't have any Witcher 3 where I'm going, so, so, get a little bit more in before... So fast, Roach. Before I head out. <coughs> Never mind. This guy. You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did your friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. <sighs> Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks, pal. All right. Let's do it. Hopefully I can do Let's be drowners. Could I? Come on, Roach. Jesus. Whoo! Boop, 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 boop. You'll never learn. What the? F Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Motherfucker. God damn it. There was the fart, yeah. Evidence all points. 
entrance to crippled Kate's. Empty perfume vial. Expensive. Neighborhood's a bit shabby for this. Where's that guy at? Oh, he's over here. Right? Yeah. You need me to grab another last join us. Madame. Greetings. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. Got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. Last I checked, everything was where it should be. We could get a hoe right now, but let's not. About the murders? Guardsmen? Many perish round here. It's the pleasure kills them. Tell the truth. The succubus. It draws customers. It's raised our taking something wonderful. I know it's a threat, but I don't know that it kills. The succubus. Where'll I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. All right, succubus. Are you serious right now? Uh, have to wait till I mean, what's what's the fucking deal? First, why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. You gotta leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. I'll let you I live, bitch, because you're... Away from this place. So I kind of want to... I'll let you live, baby. Because I think you're saucy. I think she's saucing pretty hard, so... And the body paint really's got me, uh... riled up. So I'll let her... I'll let this pass. I've been a pretty kind soul this playthrough. I'm a pretty fucking sympathetic witcher. 
Could have killed her. That's the first contract that I've never killed the... Or that I didn't kill the... Hey, man. That's not a good time, or what the... F Guards were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell. First contract, without a death. I kind of want to kill her, but... Also could have asked for a few more crowns. Let's go just, let's go see uh, Danny line. Bust out some secondary quests. I really wish there was a slew of Witcher pros in here. I would love to find out how to acquire some better mutagens and shit. Oh, I know I gotta where to find more mutagens, really. It looks like there's something going on right here. Whoa there, Roach. Huh? Oh? Uh? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? There's some kind of pro problem here, gents. No. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of it. Please, dude, please. Just peek at what he's got inside. Then I wish you would. Eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <laughs> uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, uh, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about the rent. I don't want to... by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? What do I have to do? I don't want to play any... Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. 
Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. If I have to play Gwent, I. As a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I won't do it, I'll just abandon it. It's time to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. I wanna help Zoltan, but. Alright, we'll do that uh, in a second, bro. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. What he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Dear would never refuse his daughter Dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Marina. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Marina and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Okay. He schemed up this time. Willows. Since an area two guys run from the Zuma. Yeah, I need some new swords for real. After I do this, uh I've gotta look up some treasure hunts, man. Or just go find some treasure. I need some new gear. For real. Hey, whoa. Sorry. So good to see you. 
You and Dingu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Thanks, baby. I've seen this bit before. Dandelion's gonna... Have me uh, disguise myself as a burglar, some kind of thug, and then he's going to k defeat me in front of Sephiroth. And uh, we're gonna try and get that bitch to give us a loan. I've witnessed this before. You know. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes, if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But no time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! <laughs> Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. Oh, yeah. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. On guard! I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? I didn't mean to. I should have let him win. Ah! Yeah, I think I was supposed to let the Crimson Avenger hit me. Whoops. Ah! My pride. Hey, little booger.
misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised. Dude, boudoir or theater decor. No, apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gavin, you've known him long. Say something. I'll do theater. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Fuck it, did we did theater? Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take Shit. action. Shit, I already did theater, dude. My bad. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. God. Mutant. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh. Hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Yes. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. Well. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? Good question. No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers. I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... 
I Vicious. never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Dude, Daryl always says fu fucking move, Dan. Damn it. Now where would she leave? Whatever. Not here. We got it. Whoa, what the devil's this? Get out of my ass. Watch it and leave the woman alone. What the? F She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Hey man, you let this bitch work for us. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, so... Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. It's not a brothel, my G. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And oh, yeah. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. See, we're gonna, we, dude. I've been trying to handle all these like encounters without violence, oh. if I can. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Coin top, coin tops. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. But it's so all same. Back. I've still got to stop my walks. Money talks. Some of them a while ago, but who knows? Smiling artists got some serious explaining to do. <sighs> Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him. Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist. Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. As long as I can... What is, how's it go after that? As long as I can be here with me. Oh. I'd much rather be forever in Blue Jeans Bay. Good song. Money talks. But it can't sing and dance and it don't walk. Can't walk. As long as I can have you here with me, I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans, baby. Move it. Ooh, you know what?
know my Rochi has trouble getting up these stairs. So good. What? Stop. Oh, Nubby, uh, by the way, take that egg. Ignite that, dude. Fucking. Um. Look at my uh, bag space up there. 160. Dude, I had to find that. I think that's the biggest one you get. Fuck is this? What the fuck? Yeah, 160 saddlebag, uh, dude, yeah, I really wish, it sucks, bro, because I, um, here, let me save it before I go in this house. I looked it up, okay, so I cheated a little, but it was a merchant in this city that I had been to several times. Fuck you. Um... And I just didn't, I guess I didn't look at what he was selling, but it, he was selling the saddlebag, so, you know, I, uh, like, it's kind of not cheating. I've been to the guy, I just didn't look through his, his stuff, you know? Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You dare? Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> no Chico's runner, baby. This peacefully. Time to end this. Quit this mutant. Back up. Get this, please, dude. Dude! Fucking serious. Die. These fist fights are so. So right away. I will loot some shit though. Not that I've got all this space. Let me see that. Let me see that crate. I 
I hate. Fucking irritating. How the fuck do you get that? You can't crouch. I bet you they're gonna make me race. I bet you. I'm going the wrong way, but... They're gonna make me race. The last race I tried to do on my f on Roach, it was fucking broken, dude. If you don't stay on the path that they have drawn out, you lose. Like, right away if you go off, you lose. So, I kept going off because there was this corner that you had to take. There was just missing path. Middle of the corner. Yeah, you get better, like, saddles and... Um, Blinders and stuff for Roach. We did, and it. If it wasn't broken, then dude, I just really don't get it. I, I, I don't get how whoa, I kept losing. I didn't stray from the path. It there was just a missing part of like the designated line that you had to follow, and there was nothing I could fucking do. So we'll see if this is any better. If it's a race, I'm sure. This guy's gonna be like, well, hey, uh, if you, uh, I'll, I'll help you if you, uh, I'll give you some placards if you win this race. Guarantee it. Get up. Just fine. We'll do the race, but. fuck happened here? I just went right through that tree. I've already got a race saddle um, on him. So his stamina is pretty good. Or hers, whatever little roach is. There we go. What? Oh, they just literally. What the fuck? Sorry. Roll right through that bitch. Yeah. If I could take part in the races. Mother if you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. I'll do it. These races. Let's Tell just get this dialogue option out of the way. As per Erasmus Vega Bud's dying wish, he came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus. Thank you, dude. I hope so. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start. First to complete a lap around the track, wins. I'm on the race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia. On Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt astride Athos. Let's fucking do it, Seamus. 
competitors saddle up on three, one, two, three, off you go! Let's go, Rochi! Yum. We gotta manage his. We gotta block him when we have to get our stamina back. Somehow. Like this. Come on. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Bagelbud Memorial Derby Run, is coach. over. The winner is Geralt. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time... Let's do another race. Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. What are you saying? Also, can I... Hold on. I just got a superior racing. 50 stamina. Yeah, but what's mine? That's a superior one as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, mine's a superior racing saddle that I have on him already, so. One, two, three, off you go. Be the second rider. I bet you my rewards are shit I already have for, um, for Roach. Let me just block this guy off while I get my stamina back real quick. Alright, let's just ride it out. Until we get low. Really low. Yeah, they're probably going to give me blinders that I already have for uh, Roach when I win this. They give me saddlebags, which I don't need anymore, but. Shakalaka. What now? Bravo. Congratulations. You won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Rugged saddlebags. That would be dope, dude, if I could get new shoes for him. I'll do one more race, dude. Gained an appetite, have we? I'll do one more race, my friend. Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. 
So he's seen as something of a local champion. Oh, he's about to lose his first race. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's raining. One, two, three, off you go. Where is he? Love to get my Rochi some new, new kicks. I don't know if you, if we can get him horseshoes. Oh fuck! I don't even know where he is. I think it bugged out. Always oh, raining in this game. It's pretty, but... Motherfucker. Dude, look. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Bagel Bud Memorial. He was doing circles at the starting line. Bugged out. Dude, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. I, I do not care. Your local champion just fucking blew it, dude. Congratulations, a grand victory. Thanks. Superior cavalry saddle. Well, it could be quite profitable. Oh. Alright. I had to do those to talk to this guy. Okay. To express my admiration on account of your victory. And yeah. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He was like just spinning out trying to show off. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was supposed to be the hardest race. <laughs> uh, I, dude, I love it. I don't care. Now, what's this? D Ooh. 70 stamina, these here? What do I have? Fifty. Ooh, these are this this saddle is even better, dude. Nice. I already have this. Or I don't need that rather. Damn, I'm already at 101 weight. I need to read the letter. Where was it? Where is it? Are you received? <sighs> These are definitely not uh, it. It's gotta be in quest. Here's all of them. Okay.
Roach. Look at that new saddle. Oh, you look good. You look good, baby. Dude, my Roachy is fucking... Look at his little blinders. He's looking really good. We've got great saddle bags. Look at that saddle. Fit for a farkin' king horse. Go, go. And now he could probably run forever. Anybody else want to race me, dude? Look how slow the stamina goes down now. Now my boy can just haul ass for a hot minute. I love it. I'm glad I did the races so I can get that. I love it. Luxury, dude. He really is. I'm very proud of him. He's clumsy, but... Uh, he's a damn good horse. And he can kind of... I mean, he ignores... Moving. Physics and space and time, and he could just kind of appear... Uh, out of thin air. Couldn't ask for a better horse. You could be in a bar, whistle for him. You don't remember seeing him in there. But he comes out of there, the bar. Damn good horse. All right, I don't think they're gonna let me run in here. Gotta we'll go you talk to Cleaver. You really can't, ma'am. Come on now. Ooh, the music just got a little moody. Get up. God damn, it's a gloomy day. There's a quest right there. I can't pick it up, dude. We've got too many already. Do it. Do it in a bit. Where am I now? Ugh, hold on. Let's hoof it for a second. Stay there. I'll see you later. There he is down there. That's a hell of a horse. Oh, this guy farts. Damn it. Please let us hear a fart while we're trekking through the city. So fucking awesome. One of you guards fart. I do want to stop here just to see if this uh, feller. How can I be of? Got some coin I'd like to convert into. You come to the right. See what I get. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Quite a winner to Gabriel, buds. Makes one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. Well, he's Let's too busy you burning out. You actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Palio? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. Fuck the you. Palio's a race yeah, fuck you. Night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. I'm in. Fine, I'll race. Lovely. Color me thrilled. 
Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. I hate this guy. A proper twat. We'll win for him. So I can make some fucking coinage. I'm still drinking this cold coffee, dude. It's like ice cold. I, I gotta stop. I'm done. I'm done with it. The paleo is a bubble, a race of honor. The winner Sorry. just win a reward. He earns our respect as well. So take your positions. I'm kind of in the lead. Already. What the Oh god. This one's gonna be tricky, dude. Go, oh, Rochi. Let me get my stamina back. You guys are going to lose now. Unless I go off the fucking trail. Come on. It's a fucking finish line. Let's go. Smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple God, scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. Racing horse blinders. Yes, dude, we're fucking... Dude, roach is OP. Rumble time. What's going on? Boys are fighting. <laughs> cool. Uh, so 40, 40 horses fear level. So this decreases his... Oh, I already have those. Okay. Damn, I already have them. I have no idea where I got them. Roach, 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 roach. Come on. It's okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go meet Triss, dude, even though it's a level Come on. Um, 12. I'm not going to get much XP for it, but I want to do it. Get it out of the way. We're going to meet Triss, see what's popping. Maybe we'll fark her. OK. 
Okay, baby. Hey there. Is this house fucking slanted? It is, right? Am I tripping? Geralt, I got a problem. Can we talk? Yeah, baby. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. Mm, you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. What are you afraid of, exactly? But it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know... ...what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants are vagal buds. My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Righty-o. Let's fucking loot. Please move. Knife, essential. A plum. A butter knife. Oh, the world is littered with butter knives. I'll take the book. Potatoes. Oh, 
hate me because I'm beautiful. I'm just trying to survive out here, people. Roach. Huh? What I do? How dare you? Fuck was that about? of blue jerkins. Interesting. Right. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient, I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Trust, bruv. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Let's give a little juice to the controller. Make a chair. God, I really wanna... What the? That's fucking dog shit, dude. The dodging in this game. from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, oh, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Oh. Mm. Lady Vogelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. 
How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided mage. Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Young. <laughs> Take that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, Miss. Mm. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the wow. Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. Eighty-five desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at twenty-two inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Kind of a burn. Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Right. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? Hey, bloody nobby. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come see me. Right. My mask. All right. Yeah. Move it. I'll be. I think we're about to go to a ball. to wear masks. It's a masquerade, you see. So I'm going to go buy a fox mask. Meow. <laughs> and it, there was a question mark at the end of her. This dude. I've talked to him. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Yep. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Mmm. Tasty. Now we need to buy. Wait, can you buy my swords? Yes. The shite. This is my sword? Where did I find this?
I need to be using that. So I got a pretty dope sword that I... Fucking... What else do I have to get? A doublet, okay. the cheapest doublet right here. So long. Put those on. You know. Also... It's me, Roach. Don't be, uh, confused. It's the wolf. We're ready for the ball, baby. Meow. Guarantee Trish is just gonna be smashing. And she better let me get my hump on in this mask. In her mask. Run, Roach, come on. Fucking serious right now? Boys. Horson's dead, man. You fellas just need to take off. Give it up. <laughs> there you go, Roach. There you go. Just... You stick your little head in there. The gray one again. Don't swing off his hinges all day. Look at this house, Nubby. It's fucking slanted. Ugh. Tress. There she is, looking like a billion dollars. Oof. Killing him. Baby, damn. Geralt. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters. Uh, he's easy prey, and that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame he didn't dress up like I asked. Excuse me? me? Show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers. You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and Witcher. Well then, shall we go? Yes, my lady. 
you. Oh, I cast a spell on you. And now you're mine. Mm, shall we go? Later that evening. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. <clears throat> All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. No use pretending you don't know. Where will I find that? Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So... The less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? Dude, I'm playing it safe, dude. I'm not gonna fucking fight that guy. What a jackass. We'll walk. We're walking there. Immersion. I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Jesus. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Okay. Oh, let's look around. Their father and I were chums. I knew old Grimstone. There we go. Uh, excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout fire? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Mm, a threesome? Two. Please. <sighs> Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. 
He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. But don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Baby, we gotta go this way. Let's look for Albert. No. Did you just hear that guy? Well done, old chap. I'm not just some old shark. I'm a cat, damn it. Sure, I told I wonder if his mask will glow red when I, uh, find out and discover where he is. Excuse me. Out of the way in time, naturally, and it nice merely sits for my eyebrow. Tim. Yes. Nice mask. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> Excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Albert, yes. we found you. We leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Albert, I'll take your words for it, my man. I hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. You want to wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Yeah, we'll do it. First, let's go over here and see what's cracking. Gregor, have you seen Durgoth just a moment ago? Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. No worries. Geralt? K. Suez. So that was okay. So, how goes it? Would a witch? Uh, no one come. Oh, then I shall return. Pardon, the second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. Is this Gwent? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? Is this Gwent? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. 
No, 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 no. So he's likely to be reckless. No, thanks. <laughs> Not in the mood to win. No. That's one thing you're not gonna catch your boy doing. I care about that card game, dude. At all. You fucking behave, buddy. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask <sighs> you about... Fucking Granity Longleg, dude. About that mage we met earlier? Ah, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast. <laughs> Dude, I don't know where he went. He walked up and just <sighs> off to teleport us somewhere quieter. Christ. It's not like it's... There it is. Oh, God. Dude, I threw him off the, um, <sighs> stairs. Maybe he hit his small body, like, maybe he just mushed the inside of his body on, on impact. I hope. Fuck him. <laughs> you turn him down. Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge rather than his leader. I hope See, that little fucker floated down. Escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all. Or the cat gets him. Either way. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> That's just cute, bro. <laughs> I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Triss. Come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Triss is hauling ass. I'm gonna get you. Hey, I'll get, I'll go get you. Carol's coming. We'll see your turn. We're about to stumble on, upon something. Hey, where's my mask? Oh, fuck. 
Fuck me, buddy. <laughs> Careful, baby. It's a trap. <laughs> Careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do it, do it. Doug, if I have the opportunity, it's every girl in the game that I'm going to. All of them. Miss Miracle, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. Okay. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Fifteen minutes later. Oh, don't make me have to find my way out. Oh, it literally tells me. Circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I. Shit, who's this? Fuck, I knew it, dude. Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Uh, I might have to fist fight. God. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <laughs> Doubt it. There we go. Get out of here. It's all happening. Oh, I've begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Is that my roach? Everything's set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard, and Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Wavy. Glad I can help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. Wait, do I not get any of that coin? Did I just do that? Goodbye. goodbye. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault. I know the, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Oh boy.
I don't know if I got any coin, man. Let's put my gear back on. Wait, where's that sword that I was looking at? This bad boat, that this bad motherfucker. One side and you're done. Yeah. That's rough, dude. Let's take this fucking ask off, dude. I... Yeah. Tris is a sweetheart, man. That was a fun little date, but I think I, I think I gave her all the money too, which I could have earned from that. But that's okay. It's a little too high. All right, let's do. It. See if we can find a signpost so we can fast travel. Right here. Excellent. Wait, let's see. Where are these uh, quests are that I have to... Trying to get these cards from my man Zoltan. Are they not in... Oh, okay. Where are they? Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. If I have to buy these cards for him... He owes me. What's the fuss about? What's going on here? Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Excuse me? Pass. What pass? No, I haven't done the Yenna for one yet. No make. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're not your concern. Back to your post. Oh, fucking look good looking out, my G. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Thank you. Thank you. Locked. It looks like.
like Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Oh, a ladder. Wait. Well, we'll try it here. Yeah, we could try the unit for one. After this. That's a main main quest, uh, or main storyline. Huh! Let's save it, just in case we f fucking fall. Gravity gets the best of us. Here we go. Oh, we're in. It's okay. Let me kind of loot, 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 loot. Oh! Okay, we're good. Must be Zed. Zed's dead. Last wish. That's a. Isn't that a an actual? Wait a minute. Find it. No. Oh. We peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Not your lucky day. Yeah, well. Okay, dude. Motherfucker. Isn't Grim foil Tiana from the square town deck? I wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Oh, well. They were looking for something. Okay. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. I need to... hold on. Ah. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards.